To adjust a rear hub, first thing you do is look for the access hole on the non-drive side. Small hole that gets us access to the set screws on the adjustment collar. There are three set screws on the collar. Uh, we just need to loosen them with a two millimeter Allen wrench. It's easiest to use the ball end of the wrench. You can feel the screws. Loosen them about a quarter turn. You don't want to loosen them too far or they back out into the hub shell. Once you've done that, you can just pull on this end cap to pull it out. Now if you get lucky, it just comes out like that. Sometimes it's a little bit tighter of a fit because it's a pretty precise machine part. You may need something to grab onto. So you take an M6 bolt, thread it in, and you can pull the end cap out. Then you're ready to, to actually take out any bearing play. You can either hold the non-adjustable side, which is on the drive side, and push this collar in, because this adjustment collar right here is what actually uh, adjusts the bearing play. Uh, or you can set it down on a table and then push down on the collar. You don't have to maintain pressure. All you have to do is push it in so it, it takes up space. Then put the end cap back in, being careful not to push the, uh, the axle through. And then you just tighten those set screws one more time. You don't want them really tight, just kind of hand tight. And, and the way, one of the reasons that we use the long end of the Allen wrench is so that you really can't apply too much pressure because it's a small screw in uh, thin aluminum. Another alternative, if you don't want to take the end cap out, is to use a cassette lock ring tool. The opening on the cassette lock ring tool actually is big enough that it fits over the end cap. And that's important because all you really want to be pushing on is this collar. You don't want to push on the end cap. So you take the cassette lock ring tool and push down on the collar after you've loosened the three bolts. You'll push down the collar just to push that collar in. You don't need to maintain pressure. After you push it in, you go back and just tighten those three set screws. And one tip when you're tightening these set screws is actually if you take the Allen wrench and you move it outward a little bit, it kind of levers the collar inward as you're tightening it. Once you've done that, you check the bearing adjustment, make sure there's no play, you're good to go.